Today's topic, cheating. Now, some of you might have clicked on this video because the title of the video said, well, worst excuse for cheating. This I am not going to tell you the best excuse. This is not a tutorial on what excuses to come up with if you cheat. But this morning, I was scrolling to Twitter until I came across this one video where they said, caught my girlfriend cheating and this was her excuse. Now, usually when you're in a situation where you cheated, there's nothing much to say besides, I'm sorry, I will never do it again. I love you. Things like that. But this girl took it to a next, next level where she she became creative with it and she tried to win her back and manipulate the boyfriend and be like, you know what? It's not my fault. It's kind of your fault and it's my body's fault. But with her attempt, she got exposed to millions of people and anyone who's been who's seen this video online, she is currently single and stay away from her. And let's take a moment of silence to thank the boyfriends and the girlfriends filming their partners cheating and coming up with the excuses, sharing this beautiful drama on the internet so we can all talk about it and we can all gossip together. Did you cheat on me? I was ovulating. You don't know women. You haven't grown up with women. My my body, I was just listening to my body. We are chemically created. I have this chemical thing in me where I have to reproduce. She basically gave a dictionary explanation about what ovulating is. If you don't know what's ovulating, if you're still at grade 9 or 10, you don't even know what chakalaka boom boom is. Let me give you a little bit of it's time for Kush to drop some knowledge. Ovulating is when a woman goes for a few days, a month. She goes through a phase where her eggs are very productive. They're very active. They are looking for a lucky winner. Anyone, the smallest sperm they see, they will catch them. Come here, you are staying with me. We are going to create a, a little child together. So when the woman is ovulating, please guys, stay away. It is very dangerous. You are going to be in a position you don't want to be. But having an excuse for cheating that my body's ovulating i am in heat it's like a cat in heat and wants a cucumba right well in that case guys whenever you cheat next be like it was my cucumba it was my dra it wasn't me i told my dragon to do not do this i had a deep conversation with my cucumba but my cucumba was like no i need her this is you have no control over this i went back and forth with it i i fought for not cheating on you but i was too weak and my kuhumba defeated me and that was when i cheated i think that is a very valid excuse if this is gonna be a valid excuse for women <laughs> my body i was just listening to my body i was also listening to my kuhumba man there cute couple drinks in i was like my body was like reproduce what are you talking so you're blaming science for you cheating yes on me. i had no control okay yeah you didn't have to go home with them you obviously don't understand what it's like being a woman like my body is chemically built so that i have to reproduce and i was just listening to my body while i was ovulating my all body right. was screaming all right well my eggs were like let me intertwine with his sperm so all right fine i cheated on you too you know how it works. okay hold up to be fair i didn't watch the whole video i watched the first 10 seconds of it i was like i can make a video about this brother what the fuck? what I cheated on you too then. What the f Your body's not built the same way. You're an asshole. Okay, I didn't fuck cheat on you. you. I just wanted to see wh how you like it. It sucks. Men suck. You guys oh are Okay, now that I finished the whole video, maybe I should watch the whole video before I start making videos about them. But now that I watched the whole video, there's a 90% chance this is whole, this is a skit. It's fake, but there's a 10% chance it can all be true. But unfortunately, my radar my radar on finding things which are true or not some people can be really good actors and some people can be asked this one i think it's a skit now, i found this another video as well of this woman doordash dr driver she's delivering food to a to a flat to an apartment then finding a, the boyfriend cheating with another woman staying with another woman and then she just shows up in front and they confront each other Imagine you have a boyfriend and then you're doing your job that you go to an apartment, you're delivering food, you open your door. The boyfriend is there with a towel with some other chick. <laughs> and then the first thing is like, what are you doing here? And the boyfriend is like, what are you doing here? <laughs> there's there's not, not even a single thing came to his mind. He just repeated the question with a question. You're meant to be in London. This is the business trip. Are you for real? 
Am I, is this, is this real? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Adam! Well, say something for God's sake! What are you doing here? I mean, it's very clear. You don't have to say, say something. What are you doing here? What do you, what do you think I'm doing here? I came here to wash her plants, to uh, make her bed, to make her shisha for her to smoke, make her tea? What am I doing here? But I guess people go in shock when they're cheated on. To be fair, I've been cheated on multiple times. Yes, I know the first thing comes into your mind, Kush, who would cheat on someone like you with this majestic beard? If Kush gets cheated on, none of us have a chance. I know, it's very true, but that's just na the nature of how life is. That's how relationships are, some people. For me, personally, I have never cheated in my life. I will get to that why i never cheated and i'll give you the explanation later in the video but the first time i got cheated on i think i was 17 16 17 years old she cheated on me right in front of me i dipped i went to i went away after two weeks she messaged me she met me she came below my house she was like i'm so sorry i don't know i love you i never meant to do this i took her back i kid you not a week later i took her back she cheated on me that was the time i said once i get cheated on I'm always going to get cheated on. So that person, you're done. It's like, this is the perfect example I give everyone. You take a meal, you enjoy the meal, you shit it out. That meal is shit it out. Do you go and do you pick up your shit and eat it again? No. Whenever you miss your ex, you want to text her, remember my, remember my face. You will eat your own shit. I will pick it. I will feed it to you. You will feed your own shit to you. And then when I was 21, I got cheated on. Then last year, I got cheated on as well single life best at right now <laughs> just living making youtube videos streaming i'm going to be streaming on this channel from now on and we're going to be talking about some stuff and gaming anyways let me see who you are i'm with missus what the shouting is i'm his missus yes missus delivery driver <laughs> he's still trying to cover it up <laughs> Who, who is this? I, I am the missus. I am the missus. The guy goes like, Mrs. Delivery Driver. That was the funniest line in this whole video. Now, one thing I don't understand as well is once you get cheated on, you, you it's done. Like, I don't go to the, you know, my exes who cheated on me. I don't go to the guy and be like, you cheated on me. No, it's, the, it's my ex's fault. You know, they accepted it, you know, whatever they did. The more you go after them, the, them cheating on you, you're just embarrassing yourself. Is if you, you're gonna look back at it and you're gonna regret every single moment of it. Sister, just move on, be like, enjoy your food. That will be the coldest line ever. Enjoy your food, take care, bye. Are you, Can we have the food? Are now, you really doing that? Wait, 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 what? Are you, Can we have the food? Are now, you, <laughs> He's still trying to cover it up. Are you really doing that? Come are on. you for real? We live together. We live together and have lived together for about three years now. And he told me that he was on a business trip. And I'm just kidding. I'm not joking you. I'm not joking you. How long has he been with you? Two months now. You take. You're not staying here. Good. And you're not coming home. Where can I go then? You can go to the gutter where you belong, you filthy pig. Bro, straight to the streets. You can't, you can't do that shit. Now, why do I say cheating is not an option? Because if the second the cheating comes to your head you have to sit down and think about it do you really like her or like him that you're still with them it's not fair to them the best way to cheat is to break up with them first and then go with that person just because some of you are insecure you want your safety net you're comfortable in the place you are that's it cheating was never an option it will never be an option for me because whenever i wanted to be with someone else i break up with the person i'm with that's it. That means you're not attracted to them anymore. And that, that's it. Let them go and then go do whatever you want. Now, I know some of you will be like, this is what my dad told me. You're still young. Be married with someone for 20 years, 30 years. You cannot be with someone. My dad, big time cheater. Big, big, big. He, he has a title for cheating. He's on his third wife right now. He's divorced. Don't worry. If there was a competition for cheaters, you know, the top cheaters in the world, my dad will be top 10. <laughs> I hope this video doesn't go viral. And then maybe he will see this and he will come to me. Why you expose me? Now new bitches will not come to me because I am exposed. Sorry, dad. What I, from my point of view, with the ex that I've been for three years, I've never looked at someone else. My advice to you is 
if you want to be with someone make sure that they are all you see you will not look at anyone else they are all you want you're attracted to them you have fun together you have a chemistry together I believe with this things, these people are going to come very rarely in your life, maybe one, once or twice or three times max in your whole lifetime. But once they come, hold on to them. The right time, they will come into your life. And it doesn't matter if you've been cheated on. I've been cheated on like two, three times. I don't care. I think there's more. There's a lot of people out there in the world where the destinies are going to come together and we will all have someone, inshallah. If you're ugly as shit, you're skinny and you're looking at me and you're eating Cheetos right now, you're most probably going to die alone. But the, another option is to go marry your cousin. Anyways, I thought it was funny for me to share with you this thing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.